Hello, boys and girls. It is the fifth Sunday of Lent. Lent is just flying by, which means that next Sunday is Palm Sunday. And two weeks from now is already Easter, which is really, really exciting. So as we enter these final days of Lent and prepare our hearts for Easter, let's begin as we always do with a prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh God, you show us how to love. May we be better Christians in prayer and in how we treat others. Open our eyes and our ears that we hear your word and be changed by it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now today's story, I will prepare you a little bit, is actually a little bit long but it's a wonderful story from the Gospels. So let me just give you a little bit of what you're going to hear about. Jesus has a couple of friends and their two sisters and a brother, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And unfortunately, Lazarus falls ill and he actually dies. This is the story of Jesus going to see Mary and Martha after Lazarus has been buried. And a special surprise happens towards the end of the story. So let's see if you can find out what it is. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Martha and her sister Mary sent a message to the Lord and told him that his good friend Lazarus was sick. When Jesus heard this, he said, his sickness won't end in death. It will bring glory to God and his son. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and brother, but he stayed where he was for two more days. Then he said to his disciples, now we'll go back to Judea. When Jesus got to Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb. He had been buried for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus had arrived, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed in the house Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Yet even now I know that God will do anything you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will live again. Martha answered, I know that he will be raised to life on the last day when all the dead are raised. Jesus then said, I am the one who raises the dead to life. Everyone who has faith in me will live, even if they die. And everyone who lives because of faith in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are Christ, the Son of God. You are the one we hoped would come into the world. Many people had come to comfort Mary, and when they saw her quickly leave the house, they thought she was going out to the tomb to cry. So they followed her. Mary went to where Jesus was. Then as soon as she saw him, she kneeled at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw that Mary and the people with her were crying, he was terribly upset and asked, where have you put his body? They replied, Lord, come and you will see. Jesus started crying and the people said, see how much he loved Lazarus. Some of them said, he gives sight to the blind. Why couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still terribly upset. So he went to the tomb, which was a cave with a stone rolled against the entrance. Then, then he told the people to roll the stone away. But Martha said, Lord, you know that Lazarus has been dead four days and there will be a bad smell. Jesus replied, didn't I tell you that if you had faith, you would see the glory of God? After the stone had been rolled aside, Jesus looked up towards heaven and prayed, Father, I thank you for answering my prayer. I know that you always answer my prayers. But I said this so that the people here would believe that you sent me. When Jesus had finished praying, he shouted, Lazarus, come out. The man who had been dead came out. His hands and feet were wrapped with strips of burial cloth and a cloth covered his face. Jesus then told the people, untie him and let him go. Many of the people who had come to visit Mary saw the things that Jesus did, and they put their faith in him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
It is a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful story. The one thing that I always remind children when we hear this story is there's one part of the story that is the shortest verse in the Bible. And we, um, over the years, they've taken all the words of all the books of the Bible and separated them into chapters, kind of like your chapter books for those of you who are a little bit older. And almost every sentence or about every sentence and a half, they make them verses so that we all know across the world that we're reading the same thing. So it might say chapter one, verse three. So you have to go to chapter one and then find your finger to the little three. And that's where you start reading. The shortest verse in an adult Bible is from this story. And the verse is, Jesus wept. In the story I just read, it said that he cried because you might not know what the word wept meant, but Jesus wept. Jesus is the son of God, but he is also very much human. And he cried too because he missed his brother, his brother in faith, Lazarus. Lazarus was not his real brother. It would just be like his best friend, his best buddy, and they call each other brothers would be the best way to describe that. They knew, Mary and Martha knew that Jesus could do something for Lazarus. They had already witnessed so many miracles and they were dear friends of his. So all the miracles they hadn't witnessed, they were hearing from all their friends and all the people who were traveling through town. It was customary for them to bury someone almost right away. Nowadays, we have ways to, to not, that we can wait a little bit to bury someone and there's no smell. But back in Jesus's time, they really didn't have any way to stop the body from decaying. So the body would have smelled. And that's where Martha says, wait, Jesus, if we roll away the, the stone, it's gonna smell. And Jesus says, roll away the stone anyway. So even though Martha and Mary believed that Jesus could do something, I kind of see that Martha hmm, might not have completely believed. Because if she really believed that Jesus could do something, would she have worried about the smell? I always wonder if Martha had some doubt in Jesus. And you know what? You and I all the time, we doubt Jesus. We doubt that Jesus could be this amazing, amazing man. We doubt that Jesus could actually love us, especially when we make mistakes. We doubt Jesus. We doubt his power in our lives each and every day. So don't doubt, don't be Martha. Know that whatever you have to hide from Jesus, Jesus already knows what's, what's behind the rock. Jesus already knows the stuff that smells in your life. He knows the mistakes you've made, and he's going to love you anyway. Boys and girls, when Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead, there is a wonderful and amazing thing that we learn about Jesus. Jesus had power over life and death. Power over life and death. That's a power that only God has. He actually says in this reading, I am the resurrection and the life. So here we are reading this just two weeks before Easter. He's telling the people what we discover on Easter Sunday. He is the resurrection and the life. So not only do we have Jesus as the human, the human who cried and who hurt because his dear, dear friend Lazarus was dead, but also Jesus as God. Jesus, the son of God, raising someone from the dead and really and truly doing something again that only God can do. So we know Jesus is the resurrection. Jesus is the son of God. And we know that Jesus is human as well. So Jesus took a really sad situation and made it a happy and glorious celebration. Can you imagine what kind of party they would have had after Lazarus was unwrapped from all of his burial cloths? They would wrap them, kind of think about a little bit like a mummy. They would wrap him up and unwrapping him after they just wrapped him four days ago to put him in the tomb and here he is alive and well. Imagine the party, it would have been amazing. And the thing we need to remember about this story is that God can take sad days and sad things and make them glorious and wonderful things. God 
is part of miracles each and every day. Even in the saddest days that we have, something beautiful can happen. And I think often when I'm having a bad day and I get a chance to see the sunset, that I think despite my bad day, God still makes the miracle of the sun setting happen every day. And I get to see this beauty in the world. I get to see God's beauty in the world. So never give up on those bad days because Jesus can make wonderful things happen just like he did on the day that he raised Lazarus from the dead. So let us pray. If you have any intentions, um, you can share those with your mom and dad right now. If there's anyone or anything you'd like to pray for. For all people to know the peace of God's kingdom where death is conquered by new life, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have lost a loved one over this past year, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and those who are dying, especially those who have no one to care for them, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who are preparing for baptism, for first communion and for confirmation, during the Easter season with the Catholic Church, especially for those in our own parish, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have died, especially our own family and friends, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercy and compassion, transform our hearts on our Lenten journey. May we look to your son, Jesus, as our model to become less selfish through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, what a beautiful story, and I hope you have a chance to share it with the rest of your family and maybe even your friends. Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. And in just two weeks, we get to hear about the Jesus, the Jesus story of Jesus raising from the dead. Very exciting. So have a great, wonderful week. And don't forget, Jesus loves you. So does Miss Becky. See you soon. Bye now.